Moses, just don't kick that table. Kick it. Okay. We're going to start off today on something that you've already done. You have done uh, what we're going to do today before. It's grids. Finding places on a grid. That's why you saw me with grid paper, Justin, is because we're going to do X and Y axis, and you're going to have to plot your points on grid paper today. Now, we got to find out where those points are, where we're going to put those points. Does anybody know what the point is on a grid paper? What, how do you know where they are? My, uh, Xavier? You determine based on the X and Y axis. Okay. But what tells us where to place them on the X and Y axis? Uh, it tells you the specific coordinates, like three upward, that would be three X, and uh, let's say eight to the side, that would be eight Y. Okay, so you, had, you just told me three eight. You just told me three eight. What would we call that? It has to have a name when you write three eight. Three comma eight. It does. But what do we call those? Um, Ashton. Ordered pairs. Ordered pairs. Uh, These are ordered pairs. These are ordered pairs. Yes, that's exactly what they do, Xavier. They're going to tell me my X, and they're going to tell me where to go on the Y. So, the first thing we need to talk about is ordered pairs. Order pairs. Oh, ED, excuse me. Ordered. Pass in. Where'd you it? Now, ordered pairs, it says in your book, if some of you were looking, um, each point on a coordinate grid can be located by using ordered pairs. They, uh, at first, it tells you how far to move on the right hor to move horizontally. How's horizontally? Can you show me with your hands? Horses run horizontally. Horses run horizontally. I run horizontally if I run. But, oh, yes, we run vertically. Okay. <laughs> Not less your fat Amy off of, what was that movie? Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. <laughs> She's laying on her back. She said, I'm running. Vertical running. I'm vertically running. <laughs> so, so, horizontal. Horses run horizontally. Okay? So, this is horizontal. Can you tell me what you think this axis is? The Y axis. It is not the Y. Oh, that's good. It is the X. And we're going to talk more about that in just a second. That is the X. So the ordered pairs also tell you how to move vertically. How's vertically? Vertically. Your vertebrae, when you're standing, is up and down. Vertically is up and down. Okay? Now... So, ordered pairs tell uh, where to move horizontally and vertically. What you're seeing is an ordered pair. 3, 8 is an ordered pair. Now, you will place ordered pairs on a coordinate grid. On a coordinate grid. What do you think a coordinate grid is? Those things. The pieces of paper. This is grid paper. I agree. This is grid paper. 
the squares and the squares. That is the grids. That's the grid paper. But what's a coordinate grid? It's when, when a horizontal line and a vertical, I should have said a horizontal line and a vertical line connect and you have the grids inside. When you have a horizontal, I should say ray, but they call them line, and a vertical line, and then you can plot your ordered pairs inside this. It would be number. This, is a coordinate grid. I'm going to use this a lot today. Coordinate grid is when you have an X and Y, well, excuse me, a vertical and a horizontal line that has a common meeting place that you can graph ordered pairs. Your book says it's formed by horizontal and vertical lines and is used to locate points. It is used to locate points. We're just going to write it out. I say formed by a horizontal and vertical line used to locate points. Now, what did I have to name these? Y'all know you can't have a math problem and not have something named. I mean, 3x has a name. It's a coefficient, I mean a uh, term. The 3 is a coefficient to the variable x. They all have a name. So same thing's going to happen here. Can you tell me the names of these lines? I know this is horizontal. But it has a name. Ray. Well, it is a ray. Good. It is a ray. Mm -hmm. But it's a line. It's oh, an know. axis. Talk to me, Moses. Oh, maybe they're axis, meaning they just connect. They're lines that have connection points. Excuse me, Bob jumped out of my skin. Okay? Well, guys, this is the y-axis. Look, you know how I know it's the y? It has a long tail. Y has a big old long tail. What about x? You know how I know this is x? No. Because doesn't it look like he's walking? No. <laughs> really don't. Yeah. Looks, looks like, like a man's walking, and like you walk system. horizontally. So the X does the walking, the Y's got a big old long tail. And okay? Talking. X does the walking, Y is the whiner. He's got a big old wine tail, long tail. Now, so, guess what we can know about this right here in this ordered pair? What? Guess who the three is? The X. The X. The X. This is X. And guess what eight is? The Y. Y. It's telling you the location of X and Y. You know how I remember who comes first in those parentheses? Well, let me tell you. The ABCs. 
somewhere in the middle. Okay. All right. Yes, I have grid paper. So, we're going to take this and we're going to We're going to wait. That's right. That's what we do. We just wait and cannot lie. I don't know. Oh. And I don't even know why. There she goes. I feel like she tell you how many times I've heard that before. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's so basic. <laughs> Justin, 
for you all to use a ruler yeah, but we do. We're, okay listen okay listen i want you to draw the straightest lines that you possibly can okay where i'm not going to be grading you on your ability to draw a line stop stop now i need you to make me a coordinate grid please let's do
I guarantee you some of you will fall short of that direction. supposed to write some numbers down on the great practice? Yep. Nice. Where they where they go to, please. Where they go. So we have to write those. Yes, I need you to put those on in your paper box. too. Uh, in your grid. Oh, okay. Yes. So we put A, B, C on the thing? Zero five, it means it did not 
move anywhere on the x-axis. But then it did move up to 5 on the y-axis. All right, Skylar, you want to do C? Yeah. 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 That's it, just J. Okay, let's see. If you agree that J is at 2, 4, clap once. I'm not asking for any disagree because I think you were correct. All right, who? All right, Justin, we want P. P, please. The rest of you, make sure you're doing yours and see if you can find on your own. Y'all have done this. It's just 
a coordinate plane. A coordinate grid. What? Good. Oh, intersection. Interception. Uh, so this is coordinate grid, but when you have four of them bad boys, it's a coordinate plane. And because Miss Skinner got ahead of herself, she's already told you about X and Y. She's already explained that on the coordinate grid. Hold on, just one second, Justin, I'm gonna get you. This is still Y, and X is, X is still doing the walking. He's still doing the walking. So this is X, this is a Y. What you got, Justin? <clears throat> what if it's, what would you call it if it's eight? Eight, what, eight of these? There's no such thing that I know of. I mean, in the world of craziness that we live in, there may be, but I don't know about it. Watch it. it and I know everything, here. Justin. Okay. There's no it is. Didn't it it. It. I didn't get that far. It's an inescapable board. Okay. So what we're going to do, we've already talked about your X and Y axis. You understand that these are axes? Yes. Okay. Now, we're also going to talk about origin. What do you think the origin is? Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Folks, this right here, that is the origin. It is origin. It is zero, zero. Origin. It is zero, zero. Could I have something plotted at zero, zero? Yeah. Totally, you could. Wait, Miss Skinner, <laughs> I have a question. I have answer. Um, so if you have, per se, a normal thing like that, and yeah. it's just, no. Vertically going upward, would you keep on counting up with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? This is kind of like, this is kind of like your cutoff. I shouldn't have made Bradley, sorry, my computer went off. I shouldn't have made Bradley put the number on that. <coughs> because if I were looking at this, if I were looking at this y-axis, the x coming through it is kind of like the cutoff for my positives. Everything below the x, is negatives. Everything above the X is positives. Well, same thing sort of occurs on the, uh, the X axis. The Y kind of splits it. Anything on the right side is, everything on the left side is negatives. So, yes. Does that answer that question? Yes. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess what this is going to be? You're all right. Negative one. Negative one. Negative two. Nope. Negative three. three. Negative four. Negative five. five. Negative, five. Negative. Negative six. Okay, so this is going to be one, one two, two, three, four, five. five. Notice I'm still writing on the line, not in the box. On the line. Did you reteach that to my son? <laughs> I tried. You would not believe his. How many times he wants to put it in he the box? Was, no, he was putting all the numbers inside the box, not drawing the lines. I'm just, just using the numbers as his lines. And I'm like, dude, I've never seen it that way, but you cannot do it. You that can't way. do it. Your answers are going to be wrong. <laughs> You're going to be all over that board. What's this going to be? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Genius. Wow. Because everything has a 
has a name. You know, mathematicians just love to complicate things a little bit more. Yeah. But you're not a mathematician. Yeah. Yes, I is. I do math. Oh, math for a so this is the thing. I'm a math teacher. All right. This is the thing. Each one of these coordinate grids has a name. Who knows those questions? Each, you're pretty quick. That's pretty much what it is. This one is quadrant one. And I'm going to write it over here. Quadrant. I think I misspelled it. Cakes. Okay. Maybe I can. I think I misspelled it, so if you'll give me just a second. Q U A D R A N T S. I spelled that right. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, quad, quadrant, it says the two axes divide the coordinates into four quadrants. It's just the sections that you have. So, you're going to have quadrant one, quadrant two. Look, it's Roman numerals. Quadrant three and quadrant four. Mm. You're going to have quadrant one, quadrant two, and quadrant four. Three and quadrant four. Mm -hmm. oh, Miss Karen, how'd they get their name? Oh, let me tell you, my little precious. Here. 
Positive. Positive, negative. Because X was positive, Y is negative. J Tyler. So like if it was a question, it would say like quadrant three. This is what they're gonna say. What quadrant is Y in? Quadrant two. Two. That's gonna be a question. Tell me, tell me it's ordered pairs. Negative three and positive five. Right? You so Jack, uh, Justin, what's the ordered pair for X? One and negative three. Do y'all agree with it? Yes, ma'am. You're lost. Okay. Well, where did we lose you? Where are you getting these random numbers? I'm making this up. I'm making this up. Are you talking about these random numbers? That's just. A this right here? I, I plotted Y. Okay, look at me. Watch me. So, to find out where Y is, I have got to do X first, right? So, I go over negative 3. Then I go up and I can stop at 5 because that's where, the, where Y is. So, that's why negative 3, 5 is my ordered pair. Does that make sense? Do you understand that? Like, okay, watch this. Can you tell me what quadrant I'm in? Let's say we'll just make him A. Can you tell me where A is? Quadrant one, quadrant two. Ooh. One. Oh, he's, oh, no. uh, it's uh, not in quadrant two. He is, listen to me, guys. He is on the y-axis. He's not in a quadrant. If they are on the line, they're not in a quadrant, you would just say, oh, y-axis. They're on the y-axis. Now, Tori, talk to me a minute. Can you tell me what the X is? Can you tell me what the X part of it? X? It was a, not a. Hey, it could be a he. He's riding the fans. You know them. Um, it was a two zero. Okay, super close. But if you wrote two zero, that meant you went over two first and then didn't move. Well, it would be zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he didn't move on the x-axis. He just moved up to two. That make more, is that, is that helping out? Is that, is that better? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know this may sound negative. I have that's a one. Then but, I bet you're in quadrant three. Um, so, just, when are we going to use this exactly? You do, okay. Because I this, know we're going to. This, I built my house. We sort of had to work, work it out on a grid paper. Square footage of what rooms we needed. Oh, yeah. Now, I didn't have to know exact location. Maps. You travel, if you were to travel, you're going to lay it out. And I don't mean I'm just going to the beach. I mean travel. Like my parents have laid out a map because they travel all around the world, okay? They're actually leaving tonight and won't be back for over a month, okay? So what they do is they lay out a map and they use little needles, like pins, and with the little co different colored tops on them. Y'all seen the little stick oh, pins? Mm -hmm. They lay out a map and they post, they put it. That's the exact location. Why don't they just use GPS? Because they have to have a plan. I, they don't just get in a car and just use GPS and go where they, they want to hit this national park and they want to go to this waterfall and they want to go to this. They want to see all these things. And so they lay out a map and pin them so that they can see what 
what road they need to take in order to see all of it. Does that make sense? So this is used a lot. Yes. I did it. I put an X on there. No, on the X. Oh. Because, okay, how did you, how did I get the order pair of one, three? I get how you got negative three, but how did you get the one? Because I went over one and down to negative three, and that's oh, where X was. Yep. Okay. Good. Good question. Guys, you're going to do the exact same thing with coordinate plane as you did with the coordinate grid. It's just bigger. It's just bigger. They're going to plot little points out there, and you're going to have to tell them the ordered pairs. Or they're going to give you an ordered pair. They may say, just by looking at that ordered pair, can you tell me what quadrant I'm in? Yes. Yes. What? Quadrant one. Quadrant one. So I should know because it's a positive positive. I've got to be in this grid. Yeah, so you can okay. basically just narrow it down. You narrow it down. If you know what quadrant you're narrowing down, you're You don't even need You've got this. a twenty five percent better chance. I mean, you know, you're knocking it down. Yes. You you don't even need those technically if you're using just that one. Well, but what if that was a negative? Well, then you yeah, right. you need the Exactly, one. exactly. And so today you're going to see where you may have, they may want you to line them up. They may give you the coordinates and you can line them up. I can't really remember. Let me look right now. I don't think that's today. Oh, no, definitely not today. Just kidding. You don't even know that. But there's going to come a point where you're going to line them up to make a linear equation. We'll get there. That's I know this that. Shit. Good. And, uh, okay. So if I wanted to plot negative six, two, where's that at? What uh, quadrant? Quadrant two. Quadrant two. So, uh-oh, I don't have enough room over here on quadrant two. Yeah, everything's just happening over at quadrant two. <laughs> quadrant two is the happening place, man. So quadrant two, let's we'll just say that's a Z. So Z needs to be plotted at negative two, two. I mean negative six, two. So do I go down to negative six? No, you don't. I go over negative six. Yeah. Do I go down to two? No, you I go up to two. So would that be where Z's at? Yes. Yeah. Z top. There you go. Questions. All right. Then I'm gonna be done. You're gonna need. Well. You may want another piece of grid paper. That's why I cut yes. extra. Okay. Now, you um, you may not have to make a grid for every question. Read it. It'll say make a grid. Like it'll say use a coordinate plane. Folks, if I were you, if it says coordinate plane, use that coordinate plane as much as you possibly can. Don't. You shouldn't have to draw fifteen of these. I'm thinking two of the max today. Okay? And just keep plotting them on the same grid. All right. I'm going to turn this off.